They worship the Trinity, which is the church. But Jesus God, accepted not worship. Not the God of Jesus. Jesus the accepted church worship. God Matthew the, 14. The church goes against Jesus like the Antichrist. Let's stay on topic. Don't judge a question. <laughs> You're the one who 523. Out, stay on topic. Because when you he won't been, answer it. No, he, he won't been, answer it. He, he cannot been, answer uh, it cornered. because this is a clear sign of divinity. And he does not want to accept it. The Father, Father never asked for Jesus' permission. Jesus always asked for his permission. So there you go. You failed again. So now wait, let's wait, get wait, back wait, to wait. An argument for silence is a terrible argument. No, it's not because, from silence. It's from because it is. You just God. said he never said it. So it's therefore, he must have said true. Jesus can answer prayers. I am God. Pray to me. Worship to me. Pray right. To so me. he is saying he's God by that day. He is saying he is God. You just said he's saying he's God. Pharaoh was saying he was God. So Jesus was saying he was God. We have a strong are tradition. There, are there high yep. chances? Are they, right. uh, let's say they're, they're reliable or whatever the case. Are there chances that they are translating the words of Jesus? Are there chances there could be errors? Say again. There's are there chances that there could be errors? That there could be errors. Translating from, okay. from, from what, what Aramaic slash Hebrew. Greek. One second. Are there, is there a chance that let's say for example you do have eyewitness testimony? I'm alright. I'm alright. You, you, you can put it on. I just saw another. So let's say. Okay, so what you're saying is you're not sure at all if Jesus spoke Greek? No, I think there are very good reasons to think he could have spoke Greek. I don't know, I can't tell you for definite, but there are good reasons to think that he did. But then, that, but that's the crux of the issue, because you're expecting me to believe that these are the words of Jesus, and when they're not the original words of Jesus, they're, they're transmitted by eyewitness testimonies that yep. have been translated. Yep. Now, what are the chances that one language is translated to another language and it could be errors? What if the person who translated it knew both the Greek and the Aramaic? Even if they well. knew it, there are chances of errors. But what if this person could then talk with others who also knew the language and could correlate meaning and make sure that it was an, ac ad uh, an accurate oh. meaning? So how would you cross-check reference to see if they made a mistake? You would listen to other eyewitnesses because in the biblical text it records that there are multiple eyewitnesses to Jesus. Okay, but then. So if there are yeah. multiple eyewitnesses, yeah. we can correlate and see whether or not I'd that's true. Let's say you do have oh, okay, eyewitness testimonies. So if we. If I, we no, said no, that, I brought you that. That's, that's, good. Brought you. that's absolutely So great. my question is you don't have the original words of Jesus. You don't have it. Why do you think that? Because, because what first, you're of, all, you first of all, you're not sure if Jesus ever spoke Greek. That's so not, you don't have his original. That's an issue, though, right? Of course that's an issue. Because look, look, for example, when it comes to translation, yeah. it's very, very important that we cross-reference to the original text, to the original language. So, for example, the, uh, for example, the Quran and Hadith, right? We know that the Prophet and his people spoke Arabic, right? If somebody translated from Arabic into Spanish, there are chances that it, over generations, over hundreds of years, the, tra the language or the original message can be lost or it can be misinterpreted. So that's the reason why when we go to Bukhari and Muslim, the English translation, whatever this English translate, there always has to be the Arabic text. Because that is the language that Muhammad spoke. Do you understand? So we don't have that with Jesus, for sure. Because well, you don't wait, wait. Have... Don't say for sure, because okay. you said that Jesus may have spoke Greek. No, it's I didn't say. Yeah, no, I'm question. saying you're not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly, right? Yeah. So he may have, he may not have. But what I'm saying is that given that the language was in common use at the time, it was a Roman occupied territory, Greek was the language that the average Roman would have spoke. I hold, I hold a bit. Oh, right, sure. Like ananas is a French word, but it comes from Arabic. So we know from that that the idea that it can be translated into a written form is. is that's it's an not an issue. There because is you're, an relying, issue there. you're relying upon the translated words. Yes, but I the translator the spoke both languages, yeah? The, the people who witnessed Jesus would have spoke both languages, yeah? Because it doesn't matter if there are chances they can translate it incorrectly. There are chances. Look, this discussion we're having right now, yeah. we're, we're, we're conversing in English, correct? Yes. If somebody translated it into Spanish, yeah. there are chances there could be errors. Imagine you do this for hundreds of years. But what if, what if that person knew both English and Spanish to a competent level? Then they can make sure that the meaning was intact, couldn't they? Yeah, but even in competent level, right. there are chances that... So, so, but here's another thing, right? You need to remember that in, in Christian understanding, there is a difference between the text and the meaning. If the text is compromised, we then look to the meaning to see if the meaning has been compromised. Yeah, but the meaning, you still go by the, 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 the text, the language. Say again? You're, 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 you're distinguishing between the text and the, and the meaning, correct? Yeah, but I both of them, you still have to go back to the language. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Text and meaning, right. you need to have the original language right. that Jesus spoke. Right. So, first of all, we know that you can translate, I'm still going to maintain that you can translate from Aramaic into Greek, 
very easily then because both languages would have been spoken by many people at the time who would have been competent in translating it. The second one is, I know you're going to disagree, <laughs> The second one is that if there is an issue in the text, we check to see whether or not that compromises any major theological positions that the church holds. Yeah, but you're, re yeah, but you're relying upon the translation, translated works. You don't have the original words of Jesus, the language that Jesus spoke. We're not even sure. We do. We have eyewitnesses who heard what he said, that then translated it into Greek. So where's the Aramaic? That would have remained in an oral tradition. So where is that oral tradition? That oral tradition was written down in Greek. So that's my issue. But that's, you're, you're that's my issue. But you're relying upon the, transla upon the translation. But the idea of this, though, is that you would end ultimately have to say that the Quran can never be properly understood at all in any other language. No, what we do say, there are chances that if there is, if there is an Arabic, if there's a, the Quran, the Quran, and it's is only, it's only it's the Quran is only in Arabic, by the way. The Quran is only the Quran in Arabic. In Arabic. If it's, if it's translated, yeah. then it becomes a translation of the Quran. And it could be errors and mistakes. Every translation of the Quran, there are people say that lost there can be errors. And that's and the translation, correct, because of the translation. Yeah? So that's the reason why we always cross-check reference to the original text, the language that Muhammad the people spoke. There are many things that translate into Bukhari and Muslim that's not translated correctly. Right? Similarly, when it comes to Jesus, you're not even sure. I'm not saying Jesus never spoke Greek. Right. I'm saying you, you're, on the base of probability, you're not even sure if Jesus ever spoke Greek. That's what, Did Paul that's speak Greek? <laughs> Would Paul have spoke Greek? <laughs> Why is Paul relevant to the, to the Because of Paul, Jesus? the Paul's writings are the earliest writings we have of someone who both confirms that he knew Peter, who was one of the twelve disciples of Jesus, and also James, Jesus' brother. Again, he knew them both well. I'm not talking about eyewitness testimony. I've got you. Okay, I'm so about, I'm talking about the, the original words of Jesus. Was it preserved? If I understand both two languages and I hear you say something in either one of those languages, I believe I can convey that message competently in another language. No, to a certain, to a certain level, yeah, right. I agree. So but, if but, Jesus but, said but that he... You you, yeah. But you miss out the, the... But there are chances that you can make errors in translation, correct? Yes. Yeah, so that's what you don't but have to also, words of But if you can then verify it with multiple eyewitnesses, and you are competent in speaking both languages, there is no longer an issue. But there are still chances of errors. But you're, that's just an argument from silence. You can't confirm there was an error. You simply assert that there could have been an error. Therefore, we're going to say there's an error. That's not a valid argument. Of course. Because right. look, look, because so without, with lacking of the reason to believe it was an error, then you should assume that the eyewitness, who you already granted was an eyewitness, recorded it reliably. Who were the yeah. eyewitnesses? The eyewitnesses were, for example, uh, so, uh, yeah, John in this case, who was the beloved disciple, who claims to have been an eyewitness. We know, for example, that Mark got his material from Peter, who was a disciple of Jesus. We know that Luke uh, listened to the eyewitness testimonies of many people, and he recorded that in his gospel. And Matthew, we believe, is Levi, as a disciple of Jesus. So, so why is there so many contradictions in the, within the Bible itself from different testimonies? As I was explaining to my friends here, that we do not see that the text and the message are synonymous. We believe there is a distinction to be made within the text and the message. If there is an issue in the text, we check to see whether or not it compromises any of the foundational theological positions held by the church. We do not believe that it does. And it is on your so you, so position you to show to, the, to the basis of what the church says, not the actual Bible. The scriptures themselves are useful for all instruction in, in, in knowledge and wisdom, yes? That's in our scriptures. We do not believe some people do believe in biblical inerrancy and hold to that doctrine, others don't. I'm one who doesn't, and I can argue for that position. And I also believe that as long as the core tenets, the core theological beliefs, for example, that Jesus was born of a virgin, that Jesus was sinless, that he lived a good life, and that he was the son of God, that he was divine, that he is the third person of the Trinity, uh, second person of the Trinity, sorry. Why does it that say that in the Bible? That is the second person of the Trinity. That's a good thing. And this is what I was originally talking about with my friend here. You, you said Let it doesn't clash back. with your doctrine. Yeah. That's so I want to know where does it say in the Bible yeah. that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity? Or even the Trinity so, concept. As you know, the word. word Trinity isn't used. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the word, I'm talking about the concept. Yeah, the concept, sure. Yeah. So in John's prologue, we're talking okay. about John 1. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now, in what John 1.13, so a little bit later on in his prologue, it says that the word became flesh. 
114. There's 140, though. Yeah. Thank you. So that's so, one part. Yeah, no, but explain that to me. It says in the beginning. Yes. Beginning of what? In the beginning is our way of understanding before time. Does God so have a beginning? No. Nope. Okay, so God when you say wait, wait, when you say beginning, yeah. yeah, we know time is a concept. Yeah, that's true. So when you say beginning of time, it's it's there, it's, there. it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Exactly. So what I'm asking you is that. What does it mean about John 1.1? 1, 1? Sorry, where in John 1.1 1, 1 does, uh, does it give the idea that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity? Because as far as I know, in John, there is no three okay. entities mentioned. There's only two. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Let's how, talk about how do you know where in the Bible does it say Absolutely. Jesus is the second Absolutely. person of the Absolutely. Trinity? And you know that that word is He's giving there, you a clue, so baptism. <laughs> JC, you want to come in? Right, so what he's referring to, he's no referring to, I, I believe, Matthew 28, where it says, uh, when you baptize, you baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, this is taken to be uh, in the name of, and then it says, three beings, which we believe is an indicator of Trinitarian thinking, right? No, no, but there no, are no, other no, ways. No, let, me, let, me, let me just give you another one. Just no, no, before clarify. you give another one, let's deal with one at a time. We dealt with John 1, 1. Now, let's deal okay. with 28, 19, the Great Commission. Okay, so it says, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes? What is the name of the Holy Spirit? What do you mean? That's not how you take it. Well, he says, in the name of, the term name of means there has to be a name, right? No. No? In okay, so what does it mean of, then? Explain in, it to me. In the name of, means who are you saying? Oh my yes? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That is the, the term name. name. What does it mean in that context? It means you are referring to a part, uh, a a outside thing in that is outside the Father's thing. The, <laughs> The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Outside yeah. what? That is the name. No, no, no. What? You see, the, in English, the term name mm. means something. Mm. Yeah, like your name is Chris, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, my name is Hashi. So when I say in the name of Chris, mm. yes, then I know that I'm referring to a particular name. Mm. But when you say in the name of the Father, we know the term Father is not a name, the term Son is not a name, and the term Holy Spirit is not a name. Mm. So what name are you referring to? So is it is it possible for me to say that I refer to something in the name of God? Yeah, in the name of God. Ah, but, order, but order, God order, is not order. actually a name, order, though, order. is it? Right? In the name of God, mm. like, you know, when we read the Quran, we say, Bismillah, mm. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, mm. yes, who is Ar-Rahman and who is Ar-Rahim. Mm. Yes, the most but Allah is not his name, right? Allah is a name. Allah is the name. It not just a name, is the name. No, well, there are 99 of them, right? Al Ilah is the title. Mm. title. Allah is a name. Well, no, Allah just means God. No, that's according to you. No, no, you can go back in history and look at other religions. That no, came no, forget before about Islam. other lineages. I'm talking about Islam. Okay. I'm not talking about Christianity because, in you're right actually, in um, the, the language of Jesus, yes, in uh, Syria, yes, or, or in uh, Aramaic, how would you say God? How is God referred to in Aramaic? Oh, so remind me, it's uh, Yahweh. No, and that's Hebrew. So that's Hebrew. Yahweh is Hebrew. Yeah. Yes. I, I the, term, there are the term for was, God yeah. that Jesus would have used, you know, when Jesus was on the cross, mm -hmm. and he says, my God, my God, why have you so yeah. forsaken me? Yeah. You know, they actually say that in uh, in Aramaic. Ilahi, yeah, 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 yeah. Kamal uh, So. Yeah. Yes. So now we have an Aramaic terminology. Yes. So given that the name of God is a valid terminology, it would make sense given that he was trying to imply divineness to these titles to say Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No, there's no mention of divineness. There's no mention of divineness. If you if you do something in the name of and then you say the Father, who is the Father to you? Well, I know that you don't believe that there is a father. No, no, no. Actually, I do understand from the concept of the father in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The father is the God of Jesus. Do you believe that? Yes. That's John 17, 3. Good. Yeah. So if Jesus has a God, mm. then when you say in the name of the father, mm. you're referring to a God and the son. Who's the son in that context then, if Jesus has a God? Is he God as well? Yes. So God is a God, according to your belief. They all partake in the divine essence equally. No, that wasn't my question. Does God mm. have a God? According to Hebrews. They all partake in the Godhead equally. Okay, let's let's start again. Does, say, a, does the Father have a God? They all partake in the divine essence equally. But you're not asking asking uh, the answer, question I'm asking. No, it's because no. you're you're phrasing it in this a particular always, way. Okay, 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 let's let's ignore the background. Okay. So to give context problems. to this, if we look at the same author in the same book, which is John, and then we look at John 12, verse 37 to 41. John, sorry, my bad. John, John. Why, why don't you hang it on his collar? It'll be much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no need, no need to train your arm. Right, go ahead. 
Yeah. If, there's, if there's any questions that you can't answer, just say we, I can't yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. Leave it, bro. Leave it's, it's, it's it. We point. have another discussion. So, <clears throat> John 12, verse 37 to 41, John quotes Isaiah 6, which is the famous uh, story of witnessing uh, uh, of Isaiah witnessing Yahweh and describing Yahweh. This is explicit in the text of Isaiah 6. Isaiah in, saw Yahweh. Mm, or vision of Yahweh. He describes Yahweh in but, some but way. But the Old Testament says no one can see God and live. Not fully, yes, but to have a vision of, yes. Okay, so, so, so wait a minute. Just, is yeah. the vision the same as God? No, same of Same it. as seeing God? No, it's a vision. Yeah, I know, but is, is seeing in vision and seeing in reality, is that the same thing or is that different? Okay, we, we, yeah, we would say there is a distinction there. But that's not the aim of what I'm so saying. Let's, 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 let's Wait, let's that's not what I'm saying. Okay. We're not talking about Yahweh. No, 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 it's important because in John 12, it, it 37 to 41, John 12, <laughs> I'm trying to get to this. To 37 to 41, he quotes Isaiah 6 and he says, Isaiah spoke these words because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke of him. In other words, wait, wait, who John saw is Jesus saying, glory? I, Isaiah. Isaiah saw Jesus' glory? Yes. Where did he say that? Six, nine. <laughs> yeah, that's Isaiah 6. No, no, tell me what he this says. Is John, this is John 12. Tell me what he says in 6 9. It, it, it's talking of a vision that is given from Isaiah of Yahweh. No, no, tell me what he says there. Tell me what he says there. You don't know the words, do you? I don't know the top of my head. So you, you have a bit of a chorus going on in the background there. But you yourself don't know it. What I'm saying though is that John 12 makes it explicit that he, in, he interprets that as Jesus. That's, that's the entire you know, Chris, thing. I asked you a question which you haven't answered yet. Which was that? Does the Father have a God? Does the Father? No, they partake in. No, the does Godhead. the Father have a God? Yes or no? Simple it partakes, question. It partakes in. Okay, do you have a God? Yes. You see how quickly you answered that? Yes, because I'm now, not the Father. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Does, does the yeah. Father have a God? The Father is God. So he does not have a God. He calls Jesus God in Hebrews 1.8. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to read Hebrews 1. One eight, uh, sorry, one nine. <laughs> in one nine, he says, "Your God." God bless you, Hashem. Yeah, Thank you very much. So don't do half the homework. We agree with that. We agree with that. So, so you agree that Jesus is God? Yeah, of course. Jesus is God. Do you agree yeah. with that? Jesus is yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Jesus, God. Jesus. Okay, now let me ask JC the question: Does the Father have a God? Does the Father have a God? The father never became entire. See, all of them won't answer the this father, question. This is the answer. I'm answering. Yes, for Jesus. He won't let me answer. Yes, for Jesus. The father never became incarnate, so no, he had no God. Also, what about the Holy Spirit? Does he have a God? The Spirit, the is, Spirit never is incarnate. God. So unless you are incarnate, you, have, you yeah, don't have a God. Jesus came as an example. I see. If you are a man and you have human nature. Now, now, now let's deal with this. Hmm. Before Jesus came to the earth, did he come by That's his will plan. or by the will of the Father? It was in full unity. No, no. Uni did Jesus unity. come by his will yeah. or by the will of the, the Son Father? of the man and the Father. Okay, by the will of the Father or by his own will? By Come the, on, Jim. Okay, by you? the will of both yeah. of them. His, his divine will is yes. always in accordance with the Father. No, yes. I haven't answered yet. Uh, Let unified. me get to you. Yeah, he on. was sent by the Father. He was given the words to say. But at some point, he says, I see what the Father does and yes. I do. Full I like the way you said Full sent unity. by the Father. Yes. yes. You know, he when a boss sent listen, listen, listen. When, a boss, yes. when a boss sends someone, yeah. he's a boss. They the are, other guy is submitting to him. Right. Right. Thank you right. for, for telling me that he was a Muslim. Let me see your mic. Bring your t-shirt over to God here. Almighty. The fact <laughs> is that in eternity... <laughs> okay, anyway, Chris. Be, hang on, prior you to... You know, that's why I don't like too many people interfering. Let me, let me do you mind if I continue No, but you did Chris. ask me the question. Let me just finish and I promise I'll leave you, you alone. Already. I promise I will leave you alone. There's a follow-up to it's your big show going. You promise you alone after this question. Well, not forever because you're loved by God. I don't want you to leave us forever. Come on. Excellent. Not yet. The point is that in eternity, before the incarnation, he is co-equal, he has co-power, co-authority. No way in the Bible he says that? It does. Where? Yes, it does. I'll find you it oh, when you I'm find, leaving you alone. So you don't know now, but you're going to find out. No, I know the Bible, I just don't know the reference. Colossians I don't want the reference. And the point I want you to paraphrase it for me. Colossians 1.15. Say again? I, I can give you scripture where it says this quite clearly. In Col Sorry. Good. When he's incarnate, he is... Yeah, want, according to Colossians... You know the first question I asked you? The first, yeah, the first question I asked you was this. Where in the entire Bible does it say Jesus is the second person of the Trinity? Your, no, your no, no, closest no. answer. Yeah but, yeah, but we already said that you can't say it like that because you, 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 already, like that. you already conceded that the word Trinity isn't explicitly mentioned, right? Yeah. So it's just a concept, right? So what you should say is show me where the concept is mentioned. Now okay. I can show you this so the, in John 1, so the concept in the prologue, is what? which has already been the mentioned, is what? that there are three divine, uh, three divine beings that are somehow a part of the one Godhead. Okay, so you're we saying We call this hypostasis, K. yeah? You're, you're, you're basically repeating what K was saying, that they are co-equal. I started off with this in John 1. No, no, you're saying they are co-equal. Yes. In John 1, it doesn't say they are co-equal. 
No, it doesn't. So it says where in the Bible does it say that they are co-equal? They, they are fully partaking in the divine essence because necessarily. That's not in the Bible either. What you just said is the church teaching. It's no, no, not in the Bible. Wait, wait, I, you know, I, Fully partake. That's not in the Bible. So there are divine titles that Jesus himself claims. No, no. Yeah, I want yeah, you to show me where they're called equal. Where are they called equal? Revelation. First Revelation. Revelation. First and the last, yeah, then uh, Melchizedek you should worship. No, no, no. No, no, no. Worship no, 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 no. Melchizedek never said that. That is a Jewish way of applying the fact that no one knew when he began and when he ended. That has nothing to do with him being the actual first and the last. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It says like the son of God. So Many if, people are called son wait a minute, of God. Wait a minute. David if is called son to, of God. If you're going to use Melchizedek as an example of nobody knew when he began and when he ended, right. then why does it say it like says. the son of God? What do you mean? What's that going to say? In the same, Hebrews 7, 3. It's the same passage. Do you not know the passage? Melchizedek yeah. is a high priest, yes. So some people believe that there's a king of Jerusalem of whom Abraham met, yeah? What I'm saying is, is that they refer to him because he was a mysterious unknown high priest of whom no one knew when he began, what he, where he started, or where he ended, which is why they use that term. It's not meant to imply the divine uh, Alpha and Omega first and last, that's a different thing. That is quoted to Jesus in Revelation 1.8. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. But when you're saying, when you're saying, when it comes to Melchizedek, you give an interpretation that nobody knew his start and his end. That was a know, Jewish interpretation. Do you, do you know yeah. when Jesus started his ministry? Yeah, it was, it was a few Do you know when he was born? We, we believe we do, yeah. When was he born? Uh, 1 AD. When? Which month? I don't know, month. Why not? They, they celebrate, well, what's that got to do with they this? They celebrate 25th <laughs> December. Do you think that's wrong? That's the date we choose to celebrate it, yeah, but that's not Is his that actual wrong? birthday. Is that wrong? It's, it's, what do you mean it's wrong? It, what I'm trying to say is we <laughs> don't know when he was born. We believe it's in spring. When? I can't tell you. And why do, why do you say spring? On what basis? Um, th th there's reason to believe that from certain uh, parts in the gospel that you can make a case for it being a spring. Yeah, what is that? What is that you're making the case based on? I don't understand. What's this so got to do with Jesus being divine? It looks like everything you're, like everything you're mentioning, I'm no, no, asking no, no, I, 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 you, I don't know. Yeah, but this, we talked about Jesus being divine and you started talking about totally random okay, other look, topics. I can, yeah. I can say the same thing. When it says in Alpha and Omega, they didn't know when Jesus was born and they didn't know when he was going to die in the second coming. But it's Alpha okay. and Omega means example. he is the, 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 the from all eternity and oh, no. to Alpha all future. Alpha and Omega future. is an idiom that yes. the Greeks used to use. Yes, it, it was a divine title. title. It doesn't mean literally. It is like saying, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, it's it is like saying title. he has an extended, uh, what do you say, ministry or something like that. Mm. You see, I could use the same argument from, mm. link, from language mm. that you're using about Hebrews mm. 7.3 when mm. it relates to Melchizedek. But when it comes no, to wait, wait, when it comes to Jesus, I see this fallacy of special pleading here. I don't know have why. you read Revelations? I have read Revelations. Okay, so you know it's a clearly a pro, uh, apocalyptic, very high Christology, where no, it describes no, it's, Christ it's, it's sitting on like the throne. John it says that story. Christ sits on the throne. Revelation is more like symbolic, like God had uh, seven horns or something like that. He has uh, I don't know how many eyes. So it, so when, he has seven spirits. When Jesus you says that God he sits, when Jesus is described as sitting on God's throne, what does that mean? Jesus is sitting. It says the is lamb is sitting on God's throne as well. Okay, and who's so the lamb? Who's the lamb? Did, do you believe Jesus was a lamb? Yes, in that in that in, in lamb with seven yes. eyes. No, have you read Revelation? No. You haven't read Revelation. Re have you? It, it was the let me show the you man in the white robes says. with the bloody yeah. robes with a double-edged sword in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he have a double-edged yeah. sword in He's, his mouth? He is described as being divine in Revelation. No, no. Why does he have a double-edged sword? He refers sword? to himself. Yeah. Can I speak to one person if you guys don't mind? He refers to the first and the last. You can take a ticket. Join the queue. You're next. He refers to the first and the last. Yeah, that's a divine title. Is that not a divine title for a lamb? Jesus was first and the last. First and the last. Begotten. Wait, wait, Jesus was begotten. He's also the way, the truth. Do you believe Jesus was begotten? He was begotten of the Father in the sense that was the Father begotten incarnate. No, the Father was not. No, the Father is not. So the Father, the Father is Asse. That means he doesn't have an origin dependent on somebody else. Whereas the Father, the Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit are fully unified. If you let me finish my okay. statement, yep, sure. the Son has a beginning with the Father. So the From Father, without, the, yeah. From without the Father, He wouldn't even exist. Yep, but they are a logically necessary being. God is. You why agree is, with that as a Muslim? Son, why is the Son necessary for, no, I'm for saying someone that, who is a saint? No, I'm say. saying that God, in whatever that is, is logically necessary. You agree no, why? with that? Why? You made the statement. The God is the logically necessary being. No, no, wait. Why is it necessary for God to have a Son? Tell me that. 
because that is the nature of God. No, it's not. Yes, Where it did is. you say? Why does God have a nature to procreate? You believe that God has a nature. Yeah, God has a nature, but not to have a son. In Surah al class it says very clearly. You believe that God, God has a nature to have a body, though. You believe that Allah has body parts. Clearly in the Quran. Allah has body parts in the Quran. Why are you changing the topic now? Let's start with the Because beginning. you just mentioned it. You no, just no, no, said, no, you just no, said, no, why no, does no, he have no, to have this? You said, why does he have to have body parts? You said it is necessary for God to have a son. Why does he have to have body parts? Who said body parts? In you're in Islamic understanding, no, no, let's, Allah is understood. Let's deal with the origin and then we go to the body parts, shall we? Okay, let's deal okay. with one because every right. time I ask you a question, you have changed the topic. I've noticed that. Okay, wait, you did that before. You no, went this tangent about when, back, when was Jesus born. I, I tried to bring you back <laughs> to what the okay. origin of... Let's go back to John 1 then, the very no, beginning. No, no, let's start with this. That was with the, the, that's how we started this discussion, my friend. The father right. is Asay. Okay, he has the, he, he has the, what is the attribute of Asayity. Why don't we go back to the beginning? independently existing without anyone else. Mm. Whereas the son mm. is not doesn't have the quality of mm. a satiety mm. because he you said he was begotten from the father. At this time he's still dependent on some other entity than himself. Allah is dependent on other entities. Don't himself. change the topic again. I'll, 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 but you you believe I'll give you, I'll give you the I've opportunity already said to talk about Allah. No problem. Right. But first you need to answer this question. Mm. You made a specific claim that it is necessary for God to have a son for which you haven't substantiated either from the it Bible. It is inherent in God's nature. Where does it say that in the Bible? This is a philosophical argument. For is example... Is in the Bible then? Do you agree? I'm making... Philo this is philosoph no, philosophy you, we're talking the about philosophy, now, yes? The philosophy is also, also philosophical. The yes, it is, it is, right? We're talking about making so a philosophical talk. Asaiti means someone right. who does not right. depend on like, anyone else. Like his creation, for, their, for example. For their existence. Like his like yeah. creation. So the father fits that definition of Asaiti. Mm -hmm. The son does not. Agree. No, all parts of the Godhead fit it in the parts same way. God. In same way, yeah. You so believe that you Jesus believe that Allah has body parts. Wait, wait, are you saying Jesus is a part of God? No, they are fully. In, you can't divide against them. So they're don't, all indivisible. Don't bring that up then. I asked you if the Father is a Savior. Do you believe you that Allah's shin is a part of Allah? Don't keep changing. You're changing topic. No, no, no it's again. because you mentioned something. Oh, no. Chris, Chris, and you know that Chris, you believe you the same you, thing. You're welcome to say I don't know. I do know. I'm telling you about it. Okay, so once again, the Father is not dependent for his for his existence. The Son is. Do you agree with us? Yes. Switch off the camera. Did you see that? No, it's 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 no problem. Yeah. Bob, Bob can help you if you want. No problem. Bob can help you. What I'm saying to you. Bob, we are discussing a seat if you want to come in. Yeah. I say, wait, like Bob doesn't want to come I say, in. No, we I'm both, we both, oh, have, yeah, have we both have the same understanding that God is not just a singular thing. Yes. Since, since Hashim not, invited it, me in, I'm just going to say, right. next week, if you want to come and talk about anything he said, feel free yeah. to come and talk to me. I can't stay tonight, otherwise yeah. I'd be talking with you. But yeah. you yeah. can talk to him, next but Bob week. won't talk. But okay. next week, Hashim, I'll come and talk All to you right. next week. About a city. About a city. I'll talk next week. Bob, Bob, about a city. Not next week. I'll be here the week after. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's talk about a city. And and Tawi. Yeah, of course. No, oh, Bob, 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 send me an email. I haven't got hey. your email, bro. Okay, I'll send you a... Send me an email, send me an email. Yeah, yeah, yeah? okay. All right, All cool. Right. All right, see you. Right, so what I'm saying is, when we talk about aseity, yeah. yes, we have to accept that God in his nature is what he is, regardless of what our scriptures say. We'll differ on that, but we both agree that God is not just a singular, nothing, uh, one abstract thing. You understand? For example, I'm going to talk about I'm going, I'm going to talk about the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah. making up God. You're going to talk about things like Allah's body parts that are in some way meant to be understood as being part of Allah. Even if not in a literal sense, even if it's just a metaphorical sense, you still understand Allah as being a compound unity. No, 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 no. You don't, don't think put, Allah? Don't put your words in my mouth. So you don't think Allah is a compound unity? Did I ever unity? say that Allah is, is a compound unity? Is Allah an abstract? No, no, wait, wait. Did I say that? Do you believe that? Do you, did I say that? Let's well, start with that clarify, first. Clarify, clarify. Okay, did I say, that? Let's deal with Come on, let's be fair. You I'm made a claim you, that this is what I believe. Did I ever say that? That's what I understand. Am I wrong? No, what you understand is your then, problem. Then tell me. Then I didn't say me. that. Did I say that? Let's deal with that. Tell me. First, did I say it? Not just, but it's what did I believe. Did I ever say it? I believe I've heard Muslims say Don't it. Don't stereotype yes. Muslims like that. Don't. Well, if the I have Muslims, a then The Muslims have never my friend, ever my friend, said whether... This is a great way of avoiding the argument. You made a claim. Yes, you and you just claim. you just no, no, got into. You made a claim of something I, I never said. Okay, so do you disagree with that? That is a stereotyping. You're strawmanning me. Okay, so answer so what I said. Please answer stop what I said. With this logical fallacy. Answer what I said, my no, friend. No, no, you it's need easy. to answer uh, before you answer what before I answer you. Okay. You still haven't answered me. My what? question was very simple. The father is not dependent on anyone other than himself for his existence. Mm -hmm. Is the son dependent on anyone other than himself for his existence? The Son is eternally begotten from the Father. So he depends from on the Father. All Do you time. agree that? From all time. Does he depend on the Father for his existence? Yes. So he's not a say. 
That's not how we understand a deity. In the same way, I say in the same. So we think that God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is not dependent on anything else, including His creation. Define a deity. That God is not dependent on anyone other than the Godhead. His Godhead. God Father's, is not dependent Father, on Father, Son, and Holy Spirit no, no, are not you, dependent on anything what else. What is the definition they of a Seydi? I didn't eternal. ask you the definition of your Trinity. I just I told you it. No, no. I asked you the definition of the term the God is fully you want independent. To deal with philosophy, God I'm is, dealing with philosophy now. God is fully independent. He is, he is not dependent on anything. Yes? God. Yes. God, Who is God? According minute. to Christians. Who is wait God? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. When you say God is not dependent, yeah. yes? Is the Son fully God? The Son is fully God. So is he dependent on anyone for his existence? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are God. There is no, no other answer. way. There no is answer. no other way. You see that? No answer. No. Okay. Well, Once again, is, is Allah, is Allah is still God, God without His shin? Yes. Is Allah is still God without His shin? He is dependent on His creation. To, to Allah, to one of His divine names, Why is the creator. Why are you changing the topic to Allah again? I keep because telling you. No, you're to... talking about a deity. No, I'm not talking about a deity. It goes to your belief. I'm talking about your belief. I've been, I've my friend, my friend, I never said no. I have described to you. I will never say no for you to understand Allah as the next topic to this one. But first, you need to finish yes, yes, yes. Finish with you, your you, definition you of ask God me about before aseity. you come to Allah. Okay, you ask me about aseity, I give you the Christian understanding of how we understand aseity. Okay. I then Where is your understanding of aseity from? The Islamic no, no, understanding of aseity. When you say Christian, which church father defines aseity as what you said? I'm talking about the general dictionary definition of what we would understand aseity to be. Okay, that is what I'm referring to. Let's look at I the am then saying, I am no, no, then wait, wait, wait. Let's look at the general dictionary definition of Aseti and let's see if it Did I not describe you. it right? Did I say it wrong? Oh, you said God had indeed. So you think that when I said that God is not, that God is fully independent of anything else, including his creation, that is not an adequate definition of the word Aseti. Okay, you said God had. Now you change the definition. God, Godhead, they are synonymous to me. They are not synonymous. They are to me and they are to every God, Christian. God, by because definition, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit God, are all God. God, according to the Muslims gods. and the Jews, is not multiple persons. They had the they had concept of um, Do you agree with that? Yahweh Jesus casting Sabbath. from heaven, Yahweh on earth casting from Yahweh in heaven. If you look at the at Genesis, I believe that's Genesis 21. Do you agree that the, the Muslims and the Jews do not accept God to be multiple persons? Like the way the no, 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 no. In early Judaism, there were many rabbis Sorry, that so did say. early think. Judaism? Yes. Can you name one yes. rabbi? Who uh, said that? Not the top of my head, but I know that there are. There, there are scholars today, such as Benjamin, the Benjamin they, Summer. They, yeah, they Benjamin would be Summer. Thrown out of the mainstream a, is, Judaism if they said that. Because, of course, because when Jesus came, they couldn't accept that, so they 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 changed their understanding of it to meet that. Do you believe Even Jesus Jews is the would, best would tell you that that happens. Do you believe Jesus is the best rabbi? Jesus is the perfect moral example for man today. Perfect. And greater so than Muhammad. To Jesus, much greater than Muhammad. According to Jesus, in John 17, 3, who is the only true God? According to now, this is eternal life that they may know you, Father, in Jesus Christ. Who you have sent. No, no, now, what does he say before? No, 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 what? Did you see that? He changed even the words. Sorry, I, I didn't say the word Father. I remember this that. is eternal apologies. life that they may know you, you the, father, the Father, the only true God. The only true God. And Jesus it, it Christ. Doesn't, it doesn't say the Father, I don't think. There's no reference to Father, I think. Wait, you they may the, know you, the true God. So who's the you then? They may know you, the true God. Who's the you? The father, yeah, yeah. I'm saying the, the I'm saying no, is, so I'm right. does, no, no. It doesn't explicitly but say the word father. Is no, what I'm saying. The reason I say yeah. you, the father, is because that's what the father is. Yes. So by by yes. adding in brackets the father doesn't change the meaning of the. No, no. no sorry, I, I just want to make sure. But you're saying I'm intentionally changing it. No, no. no I'm saying right. I said I said it wrong. I'm, I'm saying okay, I'm so wrong. Good. But what is the first okay. before so this? Do you thing? agree? What is 17:2? Wait, wait. Do you agree that the father no. is the only true God? No. So you're I going believe against that Jesus then? No, listen to me, listen to me. The Father is the only true God in the same way that the Son is the only true God and the Holy Spirit is the only true God. But it doesn't say that in the Bible, does it? Because the word Trinity the, is a Jesus mention. Jesus explicitly says that the Father is the only true God. Yes. Jesus never he also says, and literally, go on then, go okay. on then. Go on. Jesus I'll, never I'll explicitly, explicitly said that the Son is the only true God or that the Holy Spirit is the only true God. If Jesus says that the only one person is the only true God, then is there room for anybody else to be only true God? According to, according to, according to yes, yes and according according to Jesus, Stop interrupting. according to Jesus, yes, because in the very previous verse in seventeen two, it says that He, Jesus, has the power of eternal life, and He also says but that I elsewhere, give eternal yes, give eternal life. Yes, He's been given all authority to to give eternal life and for judgment. Jesus is the one who judges, okay, not so, the Father. So wait, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait this is in the wait same minute, book wait, you wait, just wait, quoted from. So you're saying someone who is given authority mm -hmm. by the only true God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. makes Him true God as well. Do you believe that Muhammad could judge the why whole world? Why don't you answer the question? Always changing topics. I just asked Please, you, did you why, believe that? Why do you do this? Why do you okay. change topics? So you don't believe that you don't believe that being able to be give the divine judgment on judgment day is a divine title. You don't believe that. No, wait a minute. When you said divine judgment, mm. what do you mean by that? 
the judge on Judgment Day. Okay. The so one who is, is judges there, is Jesus is according to the book of John. Is anyone other than Jesus and the Father going to judge on the Judgment Day? They are all unified in what everything they do. They do not disagree. Can you, can you please answer so, the question? I just is anyone? Something. No, yeah. you haven't heard the question. Our, the question well, is this: me, yeah, but, Does anyone yeah. judge besides the Father and Jesus on the Judgment Day? There are separate types of judgment. So there's the uh, Day of Judgment. There's also after that, which is a judgment of. Um, in, in the new creation as to where where someone is judged according to that. So there are different types. So who judges them? So there are, it is said that the disciples will have a role in that. Uh, I also believe Whom that Jesus will be a part of that. Who are the 12 disciples going to judge? The tribes of Israel. Yes, so they're going to judge all the Jews. Not Jesus, not the Father, not the Holy Spirit, but the 12 disciples. Are you going to worship them I would as say, well? I would say in accordance with what they no, say. Are you going to worship them as well? Because this to me this seems like divine judgment. When you judge someone, an entire, what do you say? We are talking entire about... Entire Judaism, entire uh, tribes of Jews, which is all Jews actually, the 12 tribes of Jews. If someone is going to judge them on the day of resurre after resurrection, then to me that person is no less than God as well then. Based on your logic. Let's, look at, let's go back in. Oh, we're looking yeah. at the I same go, book. Go no, no, no. Same topic. We're looking at the same book. Yeah. In John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, Jesus says that you can pray to him when he ascends to the, to the same place as the Father. You can pray in Jesus' name and he will answer your prayers. That is a divine claim. Okay. If Muhammad said this, you would have said he had committed shirk. If Jesus is saying, if you pray in my name, yes, yes, he then you are, will answer. He will answer all his prayers. Mm -hmm. If Jesus could answer prayers, mm -hmm. why is he himself praying? Ah, you see, this is the thing, this is the thing. <laughs> that is, that is, a, that is a rhetorical way after of getting out of the question. He is, you're Once not answering the question. Yes, even, after, immortal, even after he raised he's up, he's still flesh. incarnate. You're not answering exactly. the question, yes. you're deviating from it. What? I just told you that we can pray to Jesus and you, you don't see a problem in that, according no, to you. You, but, you don't think that's divine? No, no. I'm asking you. Do you think it's divine? Do you not, did you understand the counter question? The question is, if Jesus was indeed mm, going to answer yeah, prayers, uh -huh. then he has no need to pray himself, right? No, he does because he's incarnate. He's, he's on earth. He's, he's, he has a human nature. No, even after. Yes, look, he, is, he is a person yeah, in heaven after, at the right hand of listen, the Father. Listen, yes. Chris, even after he ascended to heaven, mm. he still got the Father as his head. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. Because we make a distinction between, between role. So what some role? people can be equal in value, yes, for example, me and you are equal in value, and yet, if you were my boss, or I was your boss, we would have different roles, yes? Okay. We believe that the Father eternally begets the Son, and the Father is eternally the begets the, the Spirit. Is that the role or the nature of the Father, to beget His Son? It is a role, is it not? If you are eternally begetting the Did Son... You hear that? It's a role. So it's not a necessary condition for God then. Thank you for... What do you mean? For, what do you, mean? You, you don't realize that. Earlier you said it was necessary for God to create the Son. That would be by if nature, that is predicated to the nature. Yeah. But now you're saying it's a role, make up your mind, which one is it? It's both. It what can't be about? both. Well, how, 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 how is you, someone do doing do? something? The nature of something is something that you are, yes? If it was my nature to do something as a role, then that's not incompatible with there being a role, right? Okay, you can be you, both. Let me give you an example so that's you understand. That's a bad argument. No, no, it's a bad argument because you have just fallen for your own, what do you say, logic or illogic rather when you say it was necessary for God to beget a son but then you say it's a role of the, of the father role can you can either choose to do the role or ignore the role nature you cannot it's by necessity so for example your nature as a human being is to submit or obey God that is your nature you cannot yourself become God do you agree yeah so your role is to submit to God mm. your nature is not God your nature is a human being. But was my nature designed in such a way that I would worship God? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, so they're not so in you contradiction will, You then, cannot become God, that's what I'm saying. Your nature <laughs> is a human being. I can have a nature to follow my role in obeying God. No, that's still role. That's, but it's both, that, that's what I'm saying. Chris, do you still not understand? I you can, can do both, can I can have a submit. nature. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. you're saying is basically, as a human being, mm. your nature is a human mm. being, you can choose to submit to God mm. or disobey God. Because that is your role. Your role is either to submit or disobey. To either do good or to do evil. To either sin or not sin. Friend, now wait, wait, wait. Now your nature as a human being, you cannot change your nature to God. Do you understand? Yeah. Now let's go back to aseity. Because aseity by God by nature is ase. Yep. Yes, that yeah, means yeah. he is not dependent on anyone. Yeah. Yes? Yep. Else for God his is existence. fully independent. For his existence. Yep. So if God depends like his on anyone. Creation. He can't depend on his creation. No, no, it doesn't say yep. creation. It says anyone. <laughs> regardless. Yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm anyone. going to yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. 
So if you're saying Jesus is dependent on the Father and the Father is never dependent on anyone, yeah. then from these two, only the Father is the same. We believe that the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit fully comprise God. So That's when we say, Bible. you can't, I've just told, I've just pointed at verses where Jesus says you can pray to him. Pray to him doesn't make him God. There are people, there are people, <laughs> and he answers your there prayers. Are people, <laughs> there are people who pray to maybe Pharaoh. Does that make him God? He doesn't. If Jesus Pharaoh can answer prayers, say, I am God. Pray to me, worship to me. Right, to so me. he is saying he's God by that then. Did. He is saying he is God. You just said he's saying he's God. Yeah, Pharaoh was saying he was God. So Jesus was saying he was God. Jesus said the Father is the only God. <laughs> that same book that was that was written by the same author has both verses in it. Yeah. So we. It also you, so starts off with the prologue. And not the other. I accept all of them in beautiful okay, so harmony. So do you accept? But you do not. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Do you accept the Father is the only true God then? And same as the Son and Holy Spirit, they all comprise God. Yes, they all eternally okay, so, God. So Jesus was the Son is God. The, the Father is God. You know the, the term Holy only. Listen, yeah. the term only means what? It means no others. Okay, mm. so when Jesus in John 3 16, when he says, God gave his only begotten mm. son, mm. yes? Yeah. Can there be other begotten son? No. No. So when Jesus says there is only one true God, can there be any other true gods? There is only one true divine essence, which the Father, Son, and Spirit you equally you know I mean? partake in. You know I mean? Equally partake This is a double standard, you can't see that you're. Uh, you're no, my friend, God. my friend, it's, it's simple. Chris, it's my really friend, simple. Chris, my friend, the term only. Like you said, mm. only begotten could only mm. mean Jesus. Mm. One son only. We believe that no Jesus was the only one who was incarnate. There's yeah, no yeah. room for another son. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to the same term only, now referring to the Father as the only true God, you're saying no, there can be others like Jesus. But and my friend, the same verse before it says that Jesus has the power of giving eternal life. Okay, let's read that verse. The same. Okay. Shall we read that verse? Go on. Open, yeah, open let's the Bible go. Oh, let's and read go. it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, read from verse 1. Because you see the same term only when it comes to Jesus, oh, it's exclusive. But when it comes to the Father, no, it's not exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the true double standard. True God. That's the sense of it. On that yeah, true God from true God. This has been not in the teaching. Bible. This is all from the church teaching. JC, you're a Catholic. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Nicene Creed. I believe in Nicene Creed. All Christians must believe in Nicene Creed. You believe in the Pope? Yeah. Bob doesn't. Every Christian <laughs> believes in the Trinity. <laughs> Every Christian. <laughs> wait, does it make you like, wait, does it make you less Catholic if you don't believe in the Pope? Okay, listen, really. listen. Say, come in front of the camera. Hey, wait, wait. And say that. hey listen, come listen. Come in front of the camera and say to the Catholics, my friend, it doesn't make you less Catholic my friend, my friend. if you don't believe in the Pope. Are you talking to me? Listen, come here. All right. Hey, you're not a Catholic then. This is John 17, <laughs> yes? After Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and prayed, Father, which you can't believe that that's actually real, by the way, because you don't believe the, uh, Let's carry on. the God has a son. The hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Yeah. Jesus gives us eternal life. Wow. That's funny. Now this is eternal life, Jesus clarifies in 17.3. That they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Now let's keep going. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Okay. Jesus says he existed before the world began. Okay. Jesus is divine, according to John. No, no, it's not. According to that, when Jesus says, you the only true God, who is the only true God, according to him? He's referring to the Father. Okay. Do you believe that? I believe the Father is God, yeah. No, no, do you believe the Father is the only true there God? There is no other God. Do you believe the Father is the only true God? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you believe the Father is the only true God? In that citation, yes, I use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that, yeah, yeah. No question, bro. What, yeah, what, yeah? yeah. What is, yeah? The don't, don't, don't just be a yes man to JC, who is not even a Catholic now, because he's saying the Pope doesn't matter to him. The Father, Son, and okay. Holy Spirit, all gods. Ask, and the I'm Father is you, God, and the Father again. is the true I'm God. I'm asking you once again. No, no. You see how we change it from only true God to just true God? You see, this is there the is no other God. There is only one God. No, it, says, it doesn't God. say only one God. It says Hero the only Israel. true God. The Lord your God is Do one. you believe the Father is the only true God? Pin drop silence. Listen, that's, yes. That's In the time. same way I believe the Son is and the Holy Spirit is. Because the Son says you can pray to Him in His name and He will answer prayers. The same author wrote these the words. The Son also says, I by myself can do nothing. John 5.30. Yes, what did He say slightly before that? Yeah. What? He says He has the power to give eternal life again. Let's go to yeah, that but, verse. But, but, but what does that mean? What does it mean? Giving eternal life means what? Do you know what it means? When Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. That is the meaning of eternal life. Of Just like in, in Ezekiel 18, if you see, if, if in Ezekiel yeah, 18, Allah, yeah. when he says in Ezekiel 18, when he says that those people who sinned and and then repent for the sin, it, they will have life, eternal life. 
Yes? Mm -hmm. The same way. What it actually means by giving eternal life is that if you follow the way of Jesus, then you will have eternal life because then you have submitted to God Almighty. Because that is the truth. Well, you, actually, can actually. Can I finish? Can I finish? Sure, yeah. Say. And this is what Jesus means when he says, I'm the way. So if you follow his way, then he says, I'm the truth. This, because what he says, what he teaches is the truth. So when he teaches, the Father is the only true God, which he denies and JC denies. And no, Bob will no, deny. No, the is All these guys God. deny so, 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 Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. Deny whom they claim that they love. They don't deny that. No, so we, we don't deny that the Father is the only true God? The only true is the Father. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Do you believe the Father yes. is the only true God? God? Yes. And the yes. Son and the Holy Spirit. No, no, don't add to because Jesus' words. Because they are all words. one. Don't add to Jesus' words. Here we go. So, listen to this. Jesus answered. This is the same book. So now he's going to read to us. No, no, this is the same book. Jesus answered. And it's actually what you just said. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, listen. If you really know me, this is the next verse, you will know my father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Okay. By seeing right. Jesus, you have seen the father. Oh, yeah, I see. So, so now you're taking that literally, that if you see Jesus, a Palestinian man 2,000 years ago, this is, the father looks exactly this, like him. This is how you bury it. This is how you wow. bury it. Listen, look at the logic. Listen, listen, listen. A few, a few, I'm not mocking. Listen, listen. I'm saying based on his you're logic, mocking, which is... You're mocking, which is, which is, which is, mighty, no, you're mocking God by saying you look like Jesus. Well, listen, listen. Anyone who says, on you've seen me, you've seen the Father. You're mocking Allah's mightiest message. You've seen man. If you've seen a man, you've seen God. That is the absurd understanding no, of these Christians who believe in anthropomizing God. You and think this I have body parts? Yeah, listen, uh, listen, <laughs> I get to... Now, further down <laughs> in that same chapter, that same chapter... Can we finish John 17? Let's, 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 can we finish John 17? No, 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 this is on John 14. To so many other... All right, we'll go back to 17. No, no, we'll go back to 17. Let's go back to 17. But let's finish it. Let me finish And I will do whatever you... Sorry, I'll read the first before. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I've been doing and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. Jesus is going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Jesus says you can pray to him once he ascends to the Father and Jesus will answer the prayers. This is divine. Okay, so that's a condition, say, right? For him to ascend to the Father. This is, now, let's go to 17. Yeah, let's go. Look, look, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> I just read from no, you. No, you no, deny no. that. You said, you made a statement, you want yeah, to hit and run. I, okay? All right, how do you explain that then? Okay, how well, I explain I, I that, explain how on, I explain that. On, so when it. he says, God gives him glory, who gives him glory? That wasn't to do with glory. That was to do with being able to pray to Jesus. Yeah, for him to go to God first. Yeah, he sends he the Father. He needs to be glorified first, right? Okay, yeah, okay, okay so, so do you glory believe, is everything. Wait, do you believe that yeah. Jesus asked God for glory? No, glorify me with it. Yeah, yeah. He did ask for God for glory. Mm. Do you know any God who's without glory? Here we go again. He's talking about incarnation. <laughs> A glory he says, God. Incarnation. Incarnation yeah. means that God of his own what will. What did he lose? What did he lose? He, he took over, he took off the robes of, 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 of divineness and he entered into okay. humanity. Nature, right? He, re he removed his nature of God. No. Because glory no. is not a, glory he, is not he, a role. He retains his divine nature. Chris, he was always Chris, divine. He was both fully divine glory, and fully man. Is glory role or his nature? So, glory, to be glorious. For God to be glorious, mm. is that his nature by default or is that a role he plays? I don't know what you mean by that. He was always Which fully divine. Which part you don't understand? He was always fully it's, it's divine. It's simple English, my friend. Which part do you not understand so I can explain it to you? If you mean was he fully divine? No, in I ask you, is yes. glory predicated to nature or role? He... Uh, Think, that's a good no, term. it, it depends on your situation. No, because I know what the context of that verse. Okay. What Jesus? Let's go to the verse. Let us go to the verse. It's so because of that, simple thing. I'm asking him if glory is nature. Well, let's read it. Yeah, let's read it. If you, if God has to ask for glory to a higher God, then certainly he's not the highest God. Okay, so listen. Go on. So this is John 17:4. What you were referring to earlier. Yeah. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work He gave no, me to do. It's, it's, so that's two. one. It's John 17:2. We can start from there if you want. Go on. All right, start from two. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life. Oh, sorry, that's one, one. John 17, one. My, my bad. Father, the arrow has come. Glorify your son. That's the one. That your son may glorify you. Okay, so now, glory, mentioned, yeah. now based on that, answer mm. this question. Mm. Is glory predicated to nature or role? It's predicated on situation. So not on nature. It can be both. It's not either or. No, no, no. You can't have both. Come on. Why? Nature. Why? If you have, if it's the nature. So, no, no. Because no, let me explain what I'm going to say. Try to understand say. what nature is. Nature is yes, by necessity. Yes. 
Yes, nature, by necessity. So, so, necessity. so if the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have been together for eternity, then they would have been glorified eternally no. by nature. Jesus is Simple. asking for glory. That means why? He doesn't have because, glory. Yes, because he's incarnate. Okay, he has chosen okay. not to be so with the Father. So, do you agree? Do you agree that this, he lost his nature of glory? No, he, he lost a certain kind of glory, which is the glory certain he had by being glory. with the Father. He's no longer. Okay, why on does Earth. Jesus yeah, say that sorry. he has the same glory as the Father? Why does he say that? Here we go. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you yeah. before the world with began. With you doesn't mean same as you. So he had glory yeah, with had, the Father if, if, when he was with yeah, the Father before. But it doesn't say before. the same glory as the Father, does it? So it you don't says, think that would be divine? It says very clearly over there that give me the glory I had before the world began. Right, which okay, would have been now divine, wait, yes? Wait a minute. Well, no, it doesn't need to be. Right. Just because before the world began doesn't mean for eternity. Do you know that? Before the world, it doesn't mean eternity. How do yeah, you mean by that? It doesn't mean. means Jesus was destined a particular glory for uh, as soon as he completes a particular task and that is where john 17 4 comes in that i finished my works yeah, yeah yes yeah. then what he says now give me the glory i have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do okay so stop there jesus said that before the crucifixion right yes was crucifixion finished as well or it wasn't what was it sorry? was the task of crucifixion finished yes no it wasn't he's speaking Oh, sorry, at this point, no, yeah. no, sorry, but it was. But he already time, yeah. said that my task is finished. Yes, because he's so, aware so that he's about it, to be crucified. It, it either means this is John 17. No, no, wait, so you know John, where this is. John 17. Yeah. Yes, he says, My he, work is finished. He, he, he hasn't that? been, yes, he hasn't been crucified yet, but no, he's, he knows it's coming. It doesn't cause, matter. Because he the, foretold the point this. I'm, the point John I'm making, 2, verse 1822 predicts this. Yeah. Okay, the point I'm making is this one of his main tasks for incarnating was to die for your sins, right? That yes. was that was his main task. Yes. But take before on. that main task, Jesus says, "My work is finished." Yes, because he knows which it's means, coming. Which yes. Means, which means all his work is finished. Yes. Because it's coming. Yes. No, he didn't right say it's now. Coming. Those are your words. Don't this put is words. John 17. Do not put words. There are only 21 chapters of John. Doesn't matter. We're right at the end. When Jesus it's says, "My work," okay. <laughs> let me ask you something. <laughs> before you finish the exam, can you say, "I finished my exams"? No. If I said to you on the day of my exam that today it's finished. Now it's finished. No, no, Clearly no, that's, that's in reference no, 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 to the that's fact wrong, that I'm about to do you it. Said, you, you would have said today it would be finished. Not today is finished. But if, I, no, 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 but if no, no, no. If I'm, learn, if learn I'm on my way there, grammar. if I'm on my way there and there's no getting out of it now, it's coming, then in all intents and purposes, no, no, I've done the task, no, no, right? No, you wouldn't say I've done the task. Hmm. You would say my task is going to be finished. Not has finished. But he, Jesus already knows because he's predicted his death. You in logic, you failed in grammar. You feel that Jesus is claiming as the same divinity as God. No you haven't answered say anything. No I've, I've, say I, I talked about that Jesus said he, he could be prayed to. No answer to that whatsoever. No, the, I talked the about answer, John 1, the, where John be, the answer, where the answer Jesus to became things. incarnate listen, from the word, from eternity. Listen, no answer when to that. Jesus, when Jesus himself is saying, I can by myself do nothing, uh -huh. as I hear, I obey, uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. then even that prayer of yours will have to bypass the Father at some point. Because everything comes from Jesus. When he was doing miracles, he says in the name of the Father. Yes? When when Lazarus was to raise, he again says in the name of the Father. Because it has to go by the Father. They are in without full that. unison. No, they're not. Yes, they're not. absolutely full the unison. Father the Father never asked for Jesus' Spirit. permission. Jesus always asked for his permission. So there you go. You, you failed again. So now wait, let's wait, get wait, back wait, to... Wait, wait. An argument for silence is a terrible argument. No, it's not you from silence. It's from, because it is. You it's just from, said it. He never said it. So therefore, from, it must it, not be no, true. It's, it's from the... Terrible it's argument. It's from the testimony of Jesus. Bad philosophy. It's from the testimony of Jesus. Without the Father, he can't No, you said... because. Yeah, I'm aware of what you're referring it's to. So there, it's not from silence. It's from the testimony but let's, of Jesus. Let's read that but same chapter. Let's read that same testimony. chapter. Here we go. The same chapter you just referenced. Here we go. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son. That all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. The how father do you honor? No how do you father? The Father judges no one. Are you sure? <laughs> In this context of the Day no, of no, Judgment, no, 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 no yes, even because even on the Day of Judgment, are you sure the Father judges no one? All judgment Shall comes from the Son. It comes in all unity. Father, no, Son, and Spirit are united. Allah says if this book is from Allah or the Quran, you will find no contradictions in it. Notice how he, 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 he contradiction I just told him that Jesus claims you have to honor him in the same honor no, no, that you would give to the, the Father. He doesn't want to talk let's about it. He wants to go to another point. Let's stay on topic. Don't judge a question. <laughs> You're the one who brought 523. It up and stay on topic. Because when he won't answer it. No, he won't answer it. He cannot answer it because this is a clear sign of divinity. And he does not want to accept it. Here we go. Chapter 5, verse 23. About, about that all may the honor the Son just as they honor the Father. 
Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father. So honor he is equating himself with the Father. That, in your religion, would be shirked. For us, that is a clear sign of a divine title. Jesus claimed it because he was divine. Can I answer this to that? is how we get the can Trinity. I, can I answer to that? This is basic this is, biblical text. I will text. show you another contradiction based on this. Does the wife have to submit to the husband like the God? Like the Lord. What does this have to do with what I just said? Because you said, what does it have to do with what I just said? If you honor the Father, sorry, if you honor uh, anyone who doesn't honor the Son, doesn't honor the Father. That's what your claim. So anyone who submits to the Father, yes, and anyone who submits to the husband, it's the same according to your Bible. No, my, this Efficient. what Jesus is Go saying <laughs> is that the specific honor that you give the Son is the same that you would give the Father. What about the submission? The same as the Father again? Or not? See again. again he, wa he wants to try and do everything he can to find a problem in this verse Actually, because he knows he knows this is a clear sign of divinity. No, it's not. I can keep going on and on and on. So why didn't you in, go in, back to John in, in 17 verses? John 17. Let's go back to 17:3 yeah. then, and let's John talk about the glory. Jesus, you keep denying <laughs> that Jesus. Sorry, the Father is the only true God, even though Jesus' testimony clearly goes against you. Is that true? Are you denying that? Are you denying the Father is the only true God? The Father is the only true God in the way that the Son is and the Holy Spirit is. They I mean? are fully United. unified. What Why? So how many true we gods accept, have you got? We accept how many true gods have you got? One true and who's God. That? The divine essence that is partaken no, no, of by the Father, one. Son and Holy okay. Spirit. According to Jesus, who is the only true God? He says the Father is the only true God. Good. But he also now, equates himself you, no, no, wait, with wait, the divineness of the Father. If according to Jesus, the only true God is the Father and according to you, the only true God is the Trinity, whom should I believe, you or Jesus? Jesus says he has the power of giving eternal life in the verse right the before. Again, answer the question. It's, I, it's the verse answer before, the my friend. Answer the question. You won't answer if that. You, you won't answer If it. you believe the Trinity is the only true God and Jesus says the Father is the only true God, whom should I believe? One person is true God or three persons are the only true God? They are all the true God. Are you going to answer which one? They are the all the Trinity true God. The Trinity or the Father only? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So not the Father only. I completely Good. accept now, that the Father is God. No, no, I no, completely no. accept no, 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 that no, no, He is the no, no. only God. That Allah is not the right God. That the, the any only Hindu true gods God, are not the correct only God. True God. Only, only true God. God. The is yes, the only and God. who is that only God? That God. Who, that the God Father, who is Jesus. the only God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. How do we know this? Because of other verses in the Scripture. But according to Jesus, is only the Father. You're going against the teachings of Jesus. Hence, you are an antichrist. Because, because it is equally, only an antichrist goes it is equally Jesus. valid to say the Father. Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is According God. According to whom? According to the Scriptures. Which part Why? Of the scripture? Because Jesus no, no, claims. I just read which out. Which part of the Scripture I, says the Son John is the only 14, true God? John 14, 13, 14 says that Jesus can be prayed to. That is a divine title. It doesn't title. say he's the only Jesus true God. Jesus says that is permissible. The Father can also be prayed to. Yes. So that means that, means that, that the God Father is God. That means that the Son is the true God. They are all the true God. So Father, Son, Jesus and Holy Spirit. Why does the Father say only the Father? He is referring to the fact that any other God other than the Father, of whom partakes of the, the divine Father, essence the and the Son and the Holy Spirit no, no, that no, he says no, no. literally in They're the verse mentioned. before. In fact, the verse which says the Father is the only true God says, distinguishes between the Christ who was sent by the only true God, whom Jesus worshipped as God, and Jesus did not worship anyone other than the Father as God, unlike these Trinitarians. They worship the Trinity, which is the church. But Jesus God, accepted not worship. Not the God of Jesus. Jesus the accepted church worship. God is Matthew the, 14. The church goes against Jesus like the Antichrist. No. And that is what they no. worship. No, no. no. the earliest. Ch the earliest. Uh, Actually, just to go uh, as well. You know, if you go to Deuteronomy like chapter 32, verse 6. Which one, sorry? Deuteronomy 32, verse 6. Yeah? Yahweh hmm. is mentioned who has who? Has the Father. Yahweh is the Father. Go open Deuteronomy 32 verse but 6. We know. Yahweh is the Father. But we know Why? from the Old Testament, there are verses oh, that no, clearly no, state no, that the started. Jewish oh, no, understanding started, of Yahweh... Why did you become Bob all of a sudden? You were calm until now. What happened? Oh, I'm passionate. No, but, but, oh, but your passion good. doesn't need to... When you shout, when we talk it about the very things civilized. That we, when we talk about the yes? things that we love, that these things yeah, are, but, are the but most what do you need deepest to, do? to what me. Do you need to do is, just as they are to when you. you. When, you're, when you're so passionate that you even deny Jesus, that only shows that you're... Never deny you're Jesus. That is kind of an evil I passion. I accept Jesus in all that he said. No, but you not don't. Not just John 17, Jesus says the only true God is the Father. You deny that. John 1, 1 says the word was... The Logos was for, with God from the very beginning and it was God. God doesn't have a beginning. I told you that already. The beginning is a way of understanding eternity. No, it's not. Eternity yes, it is. doesn't mean the yes, beginning it is. only. Eternity means no beginning. That is the opposite of something that has a beginning. So stop. That's not you what know, the like, other father saw. You have failed to show the divinity of Jesus by Jesus. <laughs> so he goes to the words of Philo, who is actually a Jewish 
philosopher. I never mentioned yes. Philo. But Do you know that John 1 was actually from Philo, his words, yeah. which was incorporated in the Bible? Yeah. Do your I, homework. John makes his own arguments here. No, he doesn't. In, in fact, 1 1. This in is fact, how he introduces fact, it. If you yeah. ask, ask the experts of the New Testament, mm -hmm. they will tell you the New uh, it wasn't even written by John the disciple. It wasn't. The book of John wasn't written by the disciple. We know, that, it was we know that the beloved disciple wrote the book of John because we know the Polycarp was a, a disciple of John and we also know that Irenaeus was a disciple of Polycarp and they both said that Jesus was divine. If Polycarp, and we both know that they... they if Polycarp was the disciple of John, why did Polycarp, in, in, in all his writing, why does Polycarp never mention John? Oops. Again, you know argument that? from you silence. Know that? He has what to say. Argument from silence? He says every argument no, of the Trinity is from the silence. It's not in the Bible. It's from the silence. Argument from silence is a bad argument. Exactly. He's saying that, that he is saying that because Scripture doesn't say a particular word, the therefore it the cannot be the real. Is from that silence. is a terrible argument. The argument of the Trinity is from silence. It's no, from the Bible. it's from concepts, as you alluded to in the beginning of this yeah. debate. What what concept <laughs> shows you that there is the Trinity? John one one. Oops, sorry. There's no Trinity mentioned in John one. The the begin in the beginning was the word, and the word was, yeah, the specific word is mentioned in the granny that you infer it. You know what Tawheed means? Let's bring that up now, since no, you brought no, no. it up. I, I what does Tawheed mean? What does Tawheed mean? No, 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 what it means. The Why, you you don't even the believe in the Pope. Go away from here. You bad Catholic. Greece. Okay. <laughs> John 1-1. All right, so John. the word Tawheed means oneness, okay? So when you say that oneness is not mentioned in, in the Quran, it is like saying, Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Is the word Tahir mentioned? Is one. Is the word Tahir mentioned? So the word, wait, wait, I'm, I'm answering you. I'm answering. It is like you saying the oneness of Allah is not mentioned. That's when you ask this question. Yeah, but it's the word Tahir. Have you not heard what I said? No, you keep saying listen, oneness. No, what listen, are you saying? Listen, the word Tawheed means oneness. Yeah, but it's the word Tahir. Can you can you finish? Let me finish. When you say the Tawheed is not mentioned in the Quran, you are in fact saying oneness of God is not mentioned in the Quran. Okay, all right, I love that. Here we go then. So when you say that the Trinity is not mentioned in the in the uh, the Hebrew and the New Testament. What you're saying Actually, is that, that the three. <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> is what you're saying I, is the I Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I never Spirit, said the Trinity. I never said the statement Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible. Yes, because you did. I know. Yes, no, I did. Is. No, I You've did. said that. You've no, said that no, multiple no, no. times. Stop lying. He has what to say. An argument from silence. He says every argument no, of the Trinity is from the silence. It's not in the Bible. You said that. You said the Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible. Stop lying and putting words in my mouth. Okay. This is very, very bad. You said that earlier. No, it's not. It's on camera. You can show it earlier. You can check both the videos. This guy usually edits his videos, but I don't actually. I put references in there. It, that is the best editing you can do, actually. So once again, when you say the Tawheed, the term is not mentioned. You basically, you do, I'll be back. Yeah, that's right. Like, uh, yeah. 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 Related, related to this, since you brought this matter, mm. is Tawheed mentioned in the Quran? We need to understand what's the meaning of Tawheed. Allah says in the Quran, the Tawheed for you to know is oneness of God, not just oneness, the normal oneness, the oneness of the worship of God. So Allah stated in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَانِ لَيْلِ يَعْبُدُونَ I have not created the mankind nor the jinn can except for my worship. So the scholars, they have used this verse to say that indicate about Tawheed. Now, for example, are we, are we, for example, keen to use that term specifically? We have to say all that Tawheed, Tawheed is the key. So we can't say Ibadah. We right, can say worship. Right, right, right. We can, instead of using this, we can say worship. Right. So you understand? So it's not about the term. Exactly. It's about the implementation of exactly. the term. Exactly. Right. We completely question. agree. One second. Hashim never but, mentioned but, the Trinity. But, but, but it related, he, he did earlier. But I think related, it related yeah. to the Trinity. No, it's a key thing. It's a key doctrine in Christianity. Right. But what about and the concept of it? Be, people who doesn't believe in it, then yeah. they're not Christian. Then they're not Christian. Yeah. Now, that's why when we say, it's, uh, we are, when we talk about Islam, we talk about the worship of God. Mm. Worship the one with the one God. No, we worship none but Him alone with no partner. Right. That's the key thing. Because there are verses in the Quran that clearly say, yes, that Allah is one and you worship no other. Yes? Yeah. Right. Okay. In the New Testament, there are clear verses that say that Jesus is divine because He has ascribed divine titles that he come from His own words that are recorded in these Gospels. Okay, let's so use, let's, we let's have use. to accept that Jesus is claiming to be divine. We know the Father. We accept that. And when it comes to the Spirit, can, can Jesus. You define, mm. Can you define for me what's yeah. the meaning divine? What's the meaning? Just this, when we of say God. Divine, it is it a divine attribute of God? What is the meaning of this? It is something Bring that it. only God has. Yes. Something only so, God for has. example, can you pray to anyone other than Allah? No. Right. So, if Jesus said that you could pray to Him and He would answer your prayers, is that a divine title? But as well the Father, or about the Father. So we have yeah, yeah, yeah. Person. You say so you can pray both, yeah. And then the, the Holy Ghost. We're yeah. talking about directing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Directing the prayer to three, three yeah, yeah. individuals. Yeah. 
three different in the yeah. So they're three guys. That's, that's our point. So, so you said so so you, you, but you've here. just admitted that you don't no, actually no, no. disagree no. with the idea that you no. can't find the Trinity listen, listen. in the New Testament. The, you think the, you the can? Issue, no, the issue is, I will tell you something. Yeah? That's the key thing. That's where you lack. That's where many Christians, they lack of this information. They say, okay, just say, I answer your prayer, okay? And the Father answered 14, the prayer. John 14, and the, and 13, the Holy Ghost answered the prayer. So you're talking about three different individuals, different distinct from each other, and you could direct the prayer to either of them, and that means the three gods. You're talking about three gods. No, we do not believe there are three he gods. Say, he didn't say, I am... He, we prayer. do not believe there are three... Chris, we do not believe there are three gods because yeah. it is clear in Scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord your God is one. Our, we we our. believe he that fully. He didn't say me, he said our. Meaning our, what is the meaning of our? English, Eng you, you're English, you're English speaker, yeah? Mm. yeah you're born yeah, English, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. You, I'm, my English is my second language, yeah? When I say our, it means someone distinct from me and in an, another individual. For example, to say, our friend is, what's your name, brother? Omer. Omer, Omer. Huh? Omer. Uh, Our friend is Omer, meaning, me and Omer is not one. You understand, when I say our, meaning us mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and Omer is a distinct individual other than us. Mm -hmm. So when, when Jesus said, our Lord Father is one, that means him and the people around him, they have a Lord, and that Lord is the Father, and then they have to worship him. So that's why, that's totally, that's totally, for example, that, that, that totally contradicts the Trinity by itself. That contradicts, that to say, if, if Jesus came to be God, he said, me and the Father, you have to worship us both and everything is fine. No, no, no. We do not believe, no, no, we do not believe that Jesus became God. Jesus always was God. He was eternally he was with the Father. God. Yes, we believe the so, Father, so the his, Son and the Holy his, Spirit his divinity, are eternal together. His divinity yeah. was there always. Yeah, always, yes. Always. Yes. It didn't leave him any single second. The Son of Man is eternal, One yes. Second. So I'm talking about, so, so his divinity didn't leave him any single second? Yeah, he was always here. Okay, so my question is to you, first yeah. follow. Yeah. You know, I asked this question again. I will repeat it to you. Let's see what's your answer because we, everyone will say we say the right answer. Part of the divinity attributes that all knowing. Yes, yeah, correct. Yes, correct. Agree. So, is Jesus all knowing? Jesus is fully divine. So, is he all knowing? Is he all knowing? Just simple. Yes or no? And then we'll talk about the other thing. If he wished to, he could know. If in full unison with the Father, but he has chosen so he not to. He has chosen so, not to. So he doesn't know. He has chosen not to know. Yeah. yeah. So he, wait one second. You see here. Listen to this. About the hour, people ask him. So that's a key question that distinct the divine from the human. That says, ask him a simple question and mm. ask him as follows. Mm. They said to him, "When is the hour?" Simple, direct question. What he said? Do you answer? What he said about the knowledge of the hour? What Jesus said? Knowledge of the hour, yeah, yeah Mark 13, 32. Oh, what he said? So, uh, Jesus said that um, no one knows the hour, uh, nothing on, on, neither, on earth, neither, nor the neither, angels in heaven, no, 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 nor the no, son, bring his word. but only the Father. Yeah, neither the son, nor the angel. Yeah, nor the angel, nor anything on earth. So except no, the Father. Except the Father. No, no one, not the angel, so not the son. No one. Yeah, yeah. So, so here, he distinguishes, my he, question is to you, listen. listen. He distinguishes himself from, from both. The father. From the yeah, Father. Well, and, and angels yeah, and father. everything underneath. So he puts himself in his so own category. Only the Father. That's a, that's so a only the Father. Point. Only the Father. Do you mm. believe that? So, so yeah, yeah. did Jesus say the truth? I believe, I believe all scripture. One second, one second. Yeah. Did Jesus say the truth? Yes, of course, yeah. So he said the truth? Yeah. So that means he doesn't know the, about yeah. the hour. He has chosen to limit himself. So he doesn't know about the hour? Yeah, in the same way that he chose to take on a, a, a mortal body. That's, yes. Okay, so he doesn't know about the hour? He has chosen to not know it, yeah. So, so he doesn't know, yes? So he's not yes. So he's not all, so, so you could choose not to know so, something. So, you see here, I give you the different example. You can. Give me an example. Give me an example. Give me an example. Five seconds, listen. One Everything that you know in your memory, Chris, Chris, you do not choose to focus Chris, on it at all times. Chris, yep. that's because you lost Just your five seconds ago. No, you can recall things. One second. Yep. Five seconds ago, yep. you said, you said with, the, with your word, you said part of the divinity that knowing everything, all knowing. And I asked you, Jesus is all knowing. You said yes. And now he's not all knowing. Yeah, that's a contradiction. No, no, you don't understand. We believe that Jesus intentionally limited his divinity. In the sense, it always access to okay, the divinity. Yeah. Okay, it's, so it's always within him. Exist? He retains he's his not, divinity. Not no, he is God. He, that never leaves him. But he limits his access to it. Okay, please, please. In some can, way. Can I ask you? Bro, bro, wait, wait a minute. Because he's God can and he can do anything he wants. You?